Yo, what is up guys, it's Hosty God here today with a tutorial on how to do the warp effect, the warpy warp wave effect. Um, I've used this effect many times, um, I'll show you an example right now on screen. Well, as you can see, back, then, back in the day they used to call me the wave god, so I know to use this effect perfectly well. So, um, I'm just joking about that. But I got I got a, a couple skills up my sleeve my sleeve with this uh, effect. So basically, we're, what we're gonna do we're gonna right click for the beginners, right click and go to properties, disable resample, uh, maintain aspect ratio depends if there's black bars around your clip, disable maintain aspect ratio. Uh, but since there's not since there's none, we're just gonna click OK and we're gonna continue. I already got my song. I already got my uh, gunshot. Well, we might cut down the gunshot a little bit. Pull up. We'll just sync this up real quick. And, uh, we'll cut down the song a little bit, maybe until there. We already got a, a nice uh, sexy trick shot right here. And right about there is the bass drop and the gunshot will go right here. Mark the gunshot and the bass drop with M, which is what I just did, as you can see. And then <clears throat> let's go ahead and in the clip, let's search for the part where he shoots. Very basic stuff, but for the people who are new, you probably don't know this still. So let's search this up. I'm trying to go as slow as you can, as you guys told me through my um, through through the comments in my last couple of tutorials. I'll, I'll try my best. I mean, I'm not going to guarantee you anything. Well, I'm going to try my best for the beginners. But I'm also trying to go fast because I know that people like fast tutorials. They just want to know where the effect is and that's it. So, let's fade this in a little bit. Um, as you can see, I already, already got the part where he shoots. Let's take a look at it. Looks, looks pretty good. So, here's the next beat. We'll mark it again. And we shall split the clip. Uh, since I'm not really gonna do anything else with this clip, I think I'm just gonna delete it because all I want to show here is just the warp and wave effect. And that leave it like that. Maybe we'll add in some velocity. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed up this part. Okay, I'm back. It's a little bit choppy, but um, whatever. Just a little bit of a uh, um, velocity sinking will just make it a little, look a little bit more clear. That's my intention. Let's go ahead and get our wave effect. So usually I always, I don't grab reset to none. I don't grab medium. I don't grab any of these. I just grab directly the large. And basically, I usually, I usually always like to use the vertical amplitude. It always looks a little bit better. Uh, let's raise up a little bit. No, let's actually turn this down a little bit. If you want to achieve the effect like like what I did in my uh, I May Love edit uh, that I did a couple of weeks ago, you want to use ver vertical amplitude and you want to use, use little amount of vertical waves. So we're going to turn this down and we're going to click at the bottom left, animate. And sort of you can copy off the settings and there we go. First keyframe, we'll have these settings. We will go to the end of the clip. End of the clip we have to go to. And we have to turn this all the way down. And if we did it correctly, and if everything looks right, oh yes, we need to go ahead and click fast. And then on the first click, we need to go and right click on the first click keyframe and go to fast. And on the fa last keyframe, we want to go ahead and right click again, and we want to click slow fade. So then we shall achieve this effect. It, it looks really smooth, honestly. This one actually came out really well. And I'm gonna speed up this part, maybe add a little bit of, uh, maybe I'll add in a little bit of pan crop. You could take a look. 
I might speed it up, but I won't speed it up that fast, so that way you guys can see how I'm sort of doing this pan crop. Okay, that is it. I basically speeded up all these parts, like how do you say the velocity sink and, and pan crop, because I've done many tutorials on all these subjects already. You can go check them out. Um, but I'm not, I'm not trying to skip any of these steps. It's just I've already done uh, pan crop. I already done tutorials on these, on these stuff. So just go check out those, those uh, tutorials if you're not sure what, what I'm doing. And um, suggest more comments. I'm gonna try reaching to a thousand subscribers. Uh, I'm gonna try very hard. I'm gonna try releasing edits. I'm gonna try releasing all the tutorials I can for you guys to in, to please you guys because I really want to reach to that thousand mark and and you know it, it'll just be a great achievement for my channel. So keep on subscribing, guys, and keep on liking and supporting me. And see you guys. And thanks for watching.